As Ontario's immunization rollout ramps up, a new vaccine to help fight the coronavirus and help prevent future pandemics is being developed here in our own backyard. So a team of researchers at McMaster University is developing a second generation vaccine that will act as a booster and will hopefully make future COVID-19 infections as mild as the common cold. These vaccines would be different from the RNA technology we've all been learning about from Pfizer and Moderna. This scenario revolves around vectors, which are essentially disabled common cold viruses, a technology that is used worldwide but was developed at McMaster University decades ago. Professor Brian Lichty, who is co-leading the project, explains why these vaccines are considered second generation. All the other vaccines that are currently in use and becoming available to Canadians have one of the coronavirus genes or proteins in them. What makes these different is they contain three components from the coronavirus. Professor Lichty says that would give a broader protection against variants and potential mutations that could become the next pandemic. And with this coronavirus likely becoming a normal part of our cold and flu season, he says McMaster's vaccines would mainly be used as a future booster. At least giving you some degree of immunity that will prevent you from ending up in the hospital. And maybe we can turn this into sort of a common cold scenario. Another unique feature, one of the doses would be given in the form of a puffer, which could go a long way in fighting respiratory infections. Mm -hmm. So you, you breathe it in through your mouth and it goes into your lungs. And by vaccinating at that site, it, it sort of hangs out there and it remembers that that's where it saw this before. Right now, the lab at McMaster University can produce up to 100,000 doses at a time, which is considered small scale. Other nations have unfortunately done better than we did in terms of being able to quickly respond. Professor Lichty is hoping that Canada will have the ability to mass produce once the new vaccine manufacturing plant in Montreal is up and running next year. How important is it that we have, you know, homegrown vaccines? A lot of money is spent, you know, on military preparedness, but nations should th think about pandemic preparedness as being equally important. The university is hoping for Health Canada approval soon, allowing human trials and healthy volunteers here in Hamilton to begin this spring. Shauna Hunt, City News.